This is my house, and it looks, from the outside, like a pretty normal house. But when I take you inside the house, you're going to see that there's something very unusual. At least there is today. <laughs> you see, this is a really small house, and I've got it full of some really big model trains. Now, it's not like this every day at our house, only now and then, but when we do have the trains out, it sure is a lot of fun. Things get kind of crazy here in the hallway because I've got four tracks crammed in here side by side. Don't think I can fit any more than four in here. <laughs> it's really fun when all four happen to be in the hall at the same time. And you just have to wait for them to pass if you want to walk by. Down at this end of the hallway, the two sets of tracks split up. One goes this way into the spare bedroom, and the other goes this way, briefly into the master bedroom. But our bed sits too low for the train to go under the bed, so there's not a lot of room in there. It has to do a quick loop and come right back out. Here in the dining room, the trains do a little loop uh, past the dog crate and around the dining room table. This train that's just about to come through, the long one with the green locomotive, you gotta watch out for that one. It's got a very loud horn. That'll scare you if you're not expecting it. <laughs> See what I mean? The real fun is right here in the living room where I've got the trains doing three laps around the living room just to maximize all the space I've got here. I know that's not a very realistic layout. You never see a real train do that, but it's just for fun. And then the whole thing is controlled by this remote control. Like if I want to toot the horn on the steam train, I can individually control each of the trains on the layout independently. Now let's do a little Q&A session, because I read the comments that people post to my YouTube train videos, and it seems like people ask the same kind of questions over and over again, at least certain ones, one of which would be, why don't you just take the trains outside and set them up in the garden? You know, a garden railway, that's what the G in G scale stands for. Well, my problem with that is, is that one of the most fun parts of model trains for me is picking new layouts and getting new ideas about how to make it better. And so I just like to change the layout each and every time I set them up. I don't want to get locked into one static layout out in my garden. But I do understand that there is more room outside than there is inside. And so sometimes I do set the trains up outside and sometimes I set them up inside. Another question that I get asked over and over again is since I have such a small house, why didn't I just get HO scale trains instead of the big G scale trains? I could set up a real nice HO layout just in the spare bedroom or in the garage. Well, it's a pretty easy question to answer, actually. Here's a HO caboose. Here's a G scale caboose. Okay, this is cute, but it does not interest me. This is massive and impressive. This I like a lot. <laughs> Another question that I get a lot is, how much did all this stuff cost? <laughs> well, the joke answer is, if you have to ask that, then you can't afford it. But <laughs> the real answer is, it, it costs a lot. Uh, this is not something that you want to get into in your 20s or 30s, or probably even your 40s. This is something that 50, 60, and 70-year-old guys get into, uh, because you want to have the kids through college and all that financial stuff taken care of before you start wasting your money on trains, because it can add up really fast especially G-scale. That's the most expensive kind of model trains. So if the money is a problem, definitely look at HO instead of G. Uh, and don't even think about it until your kids are through college. Really, seriously. Final question. People have asked, what does our dog think about the trains? <laughs> well, let me just say that she has learned the hard way to look both ways before coming out into the hallway. <laughs>